We're ready? We have time for a cup of coffee? Okay. Let's do it. Scare check time in AMG. What? Are we ready? Yes, sir, we are ready. Okay, perfect. Hi everyone, we're gonna make a gear check to analyze and review every single item required for an Aconcagua expedition. Right, one? Yes, sir. Hello, everybody. Here we are to check uh, all the gear stuff we are requesting for our Aconcagua expedition trip. Uh, first of all, we start from uh, the gear for feet and uh, for legs. So we start talking about our very important items that uh, many people request about a uh, if we need for Aconcagua double boots or not double boots, uh, we can affirm, please bring double ones. Double ones means, means that uh, inner boot inside a heavy one. Uh, the main reason of this is uh, uh, really wild conditions that we can have sometime in Aconcagua, mainly on summer day. And uh, we need this kind of protection. Sometimes it can be a little bit hot, but on other times is very necessary. Next item. 12 point iron grampos. Uh, we suggest uh, strongly bring the iron ones because uh, in case uh, another kind of, uh, kind of grampo like aluminum or something like this can be so soft and we are in a really rocky place. Perfect. Um, in case we need a, uh, we have a hard conditions, bad weather or heavy snow, gators can be an option if you bring this kind of mountaineering boots. But uh, if we are using the, the, the big ones, the new ones with a full zip, uh, probably gears is a, an extra item. Trucking shoes, very useful and necessary for the approach hikes for both routes, Plaza de Muras or Plaza Argentina. Um, it's very important that you protect your feet and ankle in a really rocky place. Uh, then, in case uh, we have uh, some uh, crossing rivers or um, uh, resting time, we suggest this kind of sandals or crocs or something similar uh, when you can just take a break or yeah, be, perfect, perfect after the shower. After the shower, or, yeah. or if you are having a free time and, and, and you want to dry your, your feet, these are the proper thing. Excellent. Okay, we follow with a um, uh, um, a long or big uh, range of uh, socks. Uh, okay. First of all, we, we have a uh, inner ones or, or little ones. Okay, that would be the first layer. First layer, okay. medium layer. Try, try, try to, the, we suggest people try to bring a mix of uh, thin layers and heavy ones. Okay. Uh, of course, a medium is probably the, 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 the must use it on the trip. And of course, we always bring a good pair of heavy ones for some day for high conditions, if you are using two pairs in, in this uh, kind of place, go ahead. Okay. Okay. We keep going with uh, underwear. We use this kind of underwear, synthetic, really dry and really light uh, to keep you dry and, and comfortable in the state of high camps. Uh, finally, we bring up long bottom legs for the stay in the high camps. Approach in summertime here in, in, in Mendoza in Argentina is hot. Uh, this kind of trekking pants for the approach, the, the three days approach high from uh, the park entrance to the base camps can be really useful even if you want to make uh, a, a short uh, checking out the side. Okay, the zipper that's perfect. Or you can bring your shorts if you want to do it. Don't forget the sunscreen protection from your legs. According, we are gaining altitude. Okay. We are leaving some things behind. We can leave behind these uh, trekking pants uh, on base camp. And we start using this kind of uh, soft shell pants. It's uh, very nice, very comfortable. And um, this coffee pants is uh, very nice and very cozy for our stay in resting days or taking an extra day on high camps in waiting a good uh, window for our summit push. Perfect. And finally, hard shell is a very important item for summit day. More used is a Gore-Tex hard shell. Perfect. Okay. This is all for feet and leg. 
Yeah, uh, here we have all the, the gear we are going to use in the upper body um, from uh, the beginning of the trip, from even our first stage here in Mendoza, and then according we are getting that you, we start using different layers. Okay, like this t-shirt. This is a t-shirt. Yeah, this is the t-shirt uh, yeah, when we start from this Mendoza city. This is the expedition t-shirt that we give to our climbers, okay. Okay, we this. We, we can start using a long sleeve uh, um, shirt. Okay. In this case, we, we many times on the hot days, are uh, really hard conditions with uh, with the uh, summer our summer time summer time is really hot. Okay. This is a very nice uh, shirt. I, even this mm -hmm. is really nice because you is uh, is get dry so fast. Okay. So if you are take off your jacket or your backpack or whatever, and you sit on the on the air on the sunlight, light, it's getting dry so fast. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Um, when we start gaining altitude, we start using different. Uh, uh, fabric like a fleece jacket. In this kind, this jacket is uh, really nice mm. with a hood. Hood can be a very important thing to protect your, you know, neck, ear. The combination between the hood and basal cap works yeah. very well to protect your your head uh, from sun rays and cold weather conditions. Okay. Normally, we use this this uh, range of uh, clothes on from until base camp. Okay. From base camp, uh, we use a soft shell jacket. Uh, okay. Soft shell fabric, I think, is uh, one of the most used uh, uh, items on the uh, on the gear, even from legs and body, and is very very functional and, and comfortable. Hard shell, we keep the hard shell for really cold, windy, and and hard conditions, sometimes in the altitude, extreme altitude, but um, apart from this, the most important thing or item on the on the gear is uh, the parka. But one question, what's the temperature when we start summit day? Okay, from the same color. Okay, this is a very good, good, good question. If we have a hard conditions on summit day, we can reach probably minus 30 Celsius pretty degrees. Cold. It's okay. pretty cold. So this kind of uh, big parka, downfield parka, full size, full zip, of course, with a hood to protect your your head and, and the, the higher part of your neck and face, like a mouth and nose. So uh, keep in mind that this can be the one of the key for success on the summit day. It's very important. Okay, Juan, now we have handwear and some headwear. Yes, uh, gloves is a very important part of the gear. Uh, we start showing these uh, uh, sun gloves. We use principally these, uh, these gloves on the approach. Okay, to light. Start light, really light. Okay. Uh, uh, to protect the sun, the skin from sunlight. These uh, leather gloves are very important uh, because if you don't know Aconcagua, Aconcagua is a really rocky place. So, so if we set up tents and and work in the around the high camps or even in base camp area, we need to hide with some rocks. So, use leather gloves. War gloves is much better than destroy, for example, these soft shell gloves. Okay, uh, because it's a uh, cheaper, it's a more, much more expensive, and we keep the proper gear for the activity we, we need. All right, so uh, we say soft shell gloves. This is a synthetic feel uh, gloves. It's a very nice for upper part of the mountain. All right, from base camp to even camp tree. I think is uh, perfectly possible. And for the challenging day, the summit day, hardest day, uh, we request a uh, go down mittens. Oh. These mittens. Okay. Uh, it's for some day. Okay, is one, it, one yeah. question. With all of this, what is the perfect combination or the right combination for some day? Okay, the the perfect combination yeah. is uh, the combination that uh, allow you keep you comfortable. Mm -hmm. One. <laughs> okay. So that means you can combine, for example, these soft shell uh, gloves with the mittens. 
this too, I think, is too much. It's impossible because okay. uh, you will be too tight. All right. So soft shell gloves or even the the light gloves, if uh, you have a really nice uh, mittens, can be easy to use it and usable for some. Okay. Time. Okay. Now we pass for the head and even eyes protection. Baseball cap, very useful. And we have here a, a buff or some people call turtleneck. You can wear through your head, protecting your neck, ears, mouth, and even nose. In combination, both are amazing. Sunglasses, very important item. Um, Aconcagua is a really powerful place. Talking about a sunlight. Uh, we need minimum UV tree. Uh, protection and and over this uh, goggles solid quarter on higher part and summit push uh, especially when we are having a really hard conditions or fresh snow around the area and windy days okay then the balaclava uh, on summit day this is the first layer I put in my head and this uh, model is uh, really nice because it include a mask. This mask have uh, small holes in the front side, so let you breathe with, uh, in a normal way and keeping your mouth and nose uh, warm. Okay. Uh, next, a wool beanie. Uh, this beanie is useful. You can combine with a balaclava or just. Uh, using the beanie in the in the resting days on in, in the high camp or in the base camp or even on summit day. Okay, perfect. Finally, helmet. Last but not least, yeah, is uh, we need bring the helmet with us. It's a very important item for safety reasons, and we are going to use the helmet just on summit day. Okay, remember that the helmet is a mandatory item in the list. Yes. The last part of uh, the Traverse and the Canaleta is uh, just before get the Wanaco Switch when a few minutes before summit is a potential place with some danger about rocks. So we always uh, walk this uh, last push before summit where it always find me help us. Perfect. So this is, uh, this is uh, all for you. Okay, that's great. Let's go to the next part. Okay, one. Now we have ice axes, pick and poles, backpacks, duffels, and some of the stuff. Yeah, here we are. This is a very important part of the top. And the first thing we are going to see is uh, the approach uh, backpack. Okay. This small backpack is a uh, is a uh, mentioned in the gear list, and it's very important in the beginning of the trip because the idea is try to walk. As light you can. All right. So we will be bringing just some food, some salt of our drinks, some basic layer, lip protection, sunscreen protection, and no more. Okay. Perfect. All the, the the rest of the things uh, it will be moving by the meal. So this until base camp. Um, the next is an expedition backpack. Uh, minimum size requested for expedition backpack is 75 years. If you want to bring over these, like 85, 90, even 100, perfect. 75 is the number you, can, you need to keep in your mind. And uh, uh, it's very important to have a very nice adjustment system for waist, okay. for shoulders, even nice protection for your back, like this. Okay, so it's important to, like everything else, try it before being here, always. Yeah. Okay, duffel. The duffel bag is... Uh, very important piece piece uh, of gear because is it is a part of the the gear list that will be containing and moving all your mounting gear inside. Uh, should be in a very strong confection, a full uh, side, and very important part is uh, capacity is uh, should be minimum 120 liters okay. uh, capacity can be bigger like a 130 40 or 50 okay. but uh, 120 is the minimum size to bring and 
fix all the the gear in, in inside. Perfect. Okay. What's next? Okay, next. Trekking poles. Trekking poles is a, a very important item to walk on the during the approach or in the high part of the uh, the, the mountain. Uh, I use a lot on during my job. Okay. And many people use, you know, it's a very important piece to keep your balance if you are moving a heavy backpack okay. or crossing the river or walking in a really thin uh, piece of ice uh, on or hard snow in the in the upper part of the mountain. Okay, um, it's a very good assistance. Yes, a very good okay. assistance. Like this. Um, the ice axe. The ice axe. Yeah, ice axe. Uh, Many many people associate that uh, with a dry peak. Indeed, it's a it's a it's a dry peak. But sometimes that we have in the last season, yeah, there are some really high part of the peak that is still having full snow or really hard snow. When we have to be ready to use this device with uh, you know we safety and yeah, with expertise. Yeah. With the expertise. The idea is you to try it before and use it and know how to properly use it before getting toward Eugenia. Not have a concave was your first experience with an ice axe. Because you really need to know how to self arrest yourself uh, for safety. Okay, so one thing that's important also to keep it covered. Why we need to cover it? For protection, first of all, with the mules. Because this is going to be moved by the mills and it's going to be a study duffel bag. So each end can hurt an animal. So the idea is to protect it properly to keep the animal safe. You, we start talking about rest, a resting time. Okay. Inflatable mattress is a is a before and after this. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> okay, so inflatable mattress is a highly suggested on the uh, gear list. Okay. The foam pad of foam mattress too. Uh, in combination with this, it's perfect, uh, especially to avoid any puncture okay. in, the, in the air mattress. Um, because uh, we have uh, some small rocks or some thorns that yeah. didn't punch your, your mattress and of, of course we try to avoid it. And finally, okay. in combination with this, a very important piece of our gear is a sleeping bag. Okay. A sleeping bag like this, this is a goes down sleeping bag. So what would be best comfort range? Yeah, yeah, well, the minus 20. Minus 20 comfort, yes. Okay, that's that's very important. If you bring less, you're gonna be shaking the whole night. Uh, shaking or dancing, whatever you want. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's go to the next part. Okay, Juan, last part of the video. What do we have here? Okay, here we have uh, some uh, small but very important items of uh, the gear list. First of all, we have here uh, a mag. This is a big one, it's uh, 800 millimeters, but I think it's perfect for a good breakfast or, or uh, a good morning for some summer day. Okay. Uh, I really high suggest uh, use a top in case uh, we are preparing or having a hot liquid or soap or okay. whatever and we leave it uh, in a side for a few minutes yeah to prevent accidents yeah, to prevent accidents or okay. somebody can touch or and spill okay uh, very important um, headlamp headlamp with uh, fresh batteries and extra batteries in case uh, is very important to keep it with us uh, a knife pocket okay uh, to like a tool for take uh, cutting some rope or whatever you need to do on, or during the, the state of high camps. The personal crockery, spoon, fork, a knife, a plate for uh, eating and, and having meal time in the state okay. of high camps. Uh, the thermos, uh, we suggest highly bring a steel bottle thermos. Okay. Steel bottle is a warranty of safety with a good top uh, on the bottom. And uh, it's a warranty to keep your liquid uh, hot for a long time 
Okay. For example, some days are uh, average 12 hours or 13 hours up and, uh, and back. Okay, Juan, one question. How many liters do we need to be carrying with us on summit day? Summit day, my suggestion, as a minimum quantity amount of liquid is three liters. Okay, for example, now we have a uh, one liter with the thermos and two more liters of uh, soft drinks or, or uh, water uh, in these two bottles, extra bottles. Okay. Uh, my suggestion is that bring the parkas like this to keep, uh, you know, the the juice liquid inside, because when we have a uh, hard conditions, is probably that water get froze if we if we don't use the parka. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And finally, there's a nice orange bottle. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Okay. This bottle. Uh, I bring this bottle to show you how we suggest uh, should be the pee bottle. The pee bottle is a is a very important thing in the long nights on high camps. Uh, if you wanna go out uh, for the toilet, uh, when you are cozy inside the sleeping bag, yeah. pee bottle can be the key for happiness. Okay, well, um, this one is also labeled. This is very important to keep it labeled because we don't wanna mistake one yeah. bottle with the other one. So keep it labeled for you and your 10 partner also. Okay, Juan, that's it? I think, yeah, with that item, uh, I think we're done. Okay, if there is anything else that we haven't covered, or you, if you have any other question related to the gear, you can contact us, and we can provide extra information, or we can, we can even make a video call, if necessary, to expand on any particular item that you have seen in this video. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you.